الآن يمكنكم المشاركة في مبادرة الأيام الرقمية تحت شعار انطلق بقوة مع جوجل والتي يتناول فيها خبراء جوجل عناوين جديدة أسبوعيا مثل السحابيات مهارات من جوجل أندرويد فلتر ذكاء الآلة فاير بيس ديزاين ثينكينج مقسمة إلى دورات وورشات عمل يومية بالإضافة إلى مسابقات أسبوعية شاهد الأيام الرقمية مباشرة على اليوتيوب وشارك رأيك وأسئلتك مع خبراء جوجل واحصل على شهادة حضور في كل محاضرة تشترك فيها هذا وأكثر من الأحد إلى الخميس ابتداء من الساعة التاسعة بتوقيت دبي عبر الرابط المبين youtube.com slash gdg Uh, hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing good. Uh, first, I would like to thank uh, GDG Mina for the invitation uh, to allow, allowing me to share my story uh, on the Unremarkable Week. Uh, hope you enjoy this uh, presentation. So I will start by presenting myself. So uh, my name is Hannah A. Devil. I'm uh, passionate about entrepreneurship, technology, innovation. Uh, currently, I work as a project manager and head of web hosting technical support department in a web hosting company here in Morocco. I'm a Google Women Tech Makers ambassador and I'm a remarkable facilitator. And I'm also organizer at GDG and Women Tech Makers Agadir. So, um, yeah, I would like to, to share with you here in this session my story. How did I start? Uh, my career in tech and how did I join the, the women tech makers and GDG community and hope this will inspire someone. So how it starts. Uh, when I was like thinking about this question, a lot of ideas comes to my mind. How did it start and when exactly? So uh, as you know, um, yeah, in this session, I will be sharing with you my story and my journey in tech and uh, sharing with you what I have, what I've learned through this through those years um, and hope uh, hope this will inspire someone as I said and yeah so getting back to this question how it starts it started exactly in 2017 when I got my baccalaureate it's uh, a high school degree here in Morocco we call it baccalaureate and uh, then I was I was very confused between like pushing my career on tech or joining a business school so at the, at the end, I chose computer science. I don't know why. I just cho chose to do computer science because um, the university uh, was in another city and they want, they want to try this experience living alone and studying um, yeah, in another city. So I, I want the experience. So that that's why I chose to do computer science. And yeah, my journey just began there. And at first, I was like asking myself, uh, if did I make a good decision, like choosing computer science? Because I still remember, like in first first days at school, the, at school there, I was like, "What is this?" Uh, like I didn't like understand the, the meaning of a lot of, 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 of courses. Like I didn't understand it. So yeah, then I was like, just uh, start looking for for some for some groups or like for some communities. And start like look, looking for events to know uh, the meaning of what I'm studying. What is that computer science? What is that computer? How it works? And um, because like in school it wasn't like it wasn't like the way they, they teach. It wasn't like uh, encouraging me or motivating me to to explore or like to to know what is that exactly. So what I did, I was like looking for communities to join. And my goal at first, as I said, was to find like a community with people who who, uh, who I share with them like this, the same passion. I mean, the same passion for computer science, the same passion for for know what is that tech world. And then I started uh, joining clubs in my university and participating on competition. So this is what the first like the first one was the hackathon, as you see in the picture. I I participated in the hackathon that named hack and the pitch uh, we got the second place and for me uh, it was a, the first experience like it was very good because um we challenged ourselves there to work on idea to build a pitch to build a prototype like in three days it was very challenging and i like the, the vibe there because i met people like a, 
out of my school. So that, that experience really encouraged me to start looking looking for, for other communities to join outside of my school. So um, yeah, that remarkable experience gave me, as I said, to, to start looking for those, those, those communities. Um, and after that, I, I decided with like uh, my friends to start a club in our university that called uh, Codify. Um, in that club, like we start like uh, events like uh, to, to share about what we know exactly, like the basics, you know, what is algorithm, what is, uh, what is those technology, what is cloud? It, it was like just the basics. We challenged ourselves to, uh, to, to share those basics and to learn because the challenge that we did is just like to learn and, and share again. We, are not, we weren't like experts on, on, on programming or something. We just like want to create that vibes because we didn't find those opportunities and we want to create them. So what we did, we created we create that club that called Codify and the experience was just, was just like amazing. And after that, I started, I, I yeah, I joined the, no, I didn't join GDG. I just attended the first event there. Uh, it was the first event that GDG did. Uh, it was the first, the first Dev Fest in Agadir. So I attended the first Dev Fest in Agadir, and uh, I really liked the the, the 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 atmosphere. You know, all develop, developers in one place, a lot of uh, information, networking, all those amazing stuff encouraged me to apply to join the team. So uh, yeah, I applied. I applied to join GDG and Home Tech Makers Agadir. And I I got accepted, so uh, yeah I got accepted that I joined this amazing community. We start like learning a lot of stuff. Uh, we challenged ourselves to do a lot of events, including like the International Women's Day. We did a lot of International Women's Days, like every year we do International Women's Day, and we try to to uh, you know to to create that atmosphere and that safe place for women. Uh, to share their 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 thoughts and to share their experience, and uh, yeah, that is was for the women technicians and for GDG we did a lot of events, including the biggest one is the Day Fest and the Day Fest. Yeah, it was the largest one like in the tech conference in our region. Um, we did side games, we did we did hackathons. Uh, yeah. Um, on those events, we, we, we always like focus on the impact. So it was the, the, our goal to create the impact, impact for like developers, women, men, everyone. We want to create that safe place. Um, and we want like, we always like start thinking how we can like help those women in tech, how to create that safe place for, for, for them to learn and to create something. So in every event that was uh, like uh, our goal, even like in the Corona, uh, and this, I really love this picture here. It was a, a collaboration between uh, women tech makers. It was the last, it, it's the last like International Women's Day we did this year in a partnership with the uh, GDC uh, Ibn Zohar. And this this picture wa was in like in uh, International Women's Day uh, in COVID and the Corona time. Um, yeah. and. Uh, you know, this experience like helped me a lot because like it's been like almost five years with GDG and Women Tech Makers like a year. In every year I learned something, but in every year I try to volunteer to do something new. For example, this year if I, if I was like if, if I'm in, in in doing for example social media social media management next year I would like to do uh, for example to take care of sponsoring or to take care of project management. So. Uh, I turn this this community to opportunity for me. Every time I try to 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 explore or to or to try myself or to challenge myself in another domain. So this is my advice for everyone. If you are looking for a community to join or to a safe place like to learn, you need also uh, to uh, challenge yourself to try something. Like if if you join this community like in entry level, just doing for example a small tasks. You need to volunteer. You need to say, hi, I'm here. Uh, I know how to do this. Or for example, I don't know how to do this, uh, but I, I will try, you know, because it's just a volunteer work. It's not like uh, we're not getting paid for what we do. It's just a volunteer work. So the the you are allowed to do, to do mistakes. So in these communities, you will challenge yourself to maybe to find another passion. 
for example, if you are doing, for example, design and you want to try your, yourself in marketing, maybe it's 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 the right place for you. So just look for the for the community that the communities are not toxic because there is communities that are toxic. They are they are demotivating people. Just uh, try to find a good place for you to to uh, to get developed, not just like uh, uh, demotivated. Yeah, so this is all about women technicians and GDG Agadir. And, you know, uh, that what happened to me. When I joined women technicians and GDG Agadir, I realized that I, uh, uh, I realized that, like, uh, it's not, it's not, it's not about, uh, just about computer science for me. At first, I was like, uh, uh, I was like hesitating between choosing computer science or uh, business school. And when I joined GDG, I, I I I realized like that it's 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 okay to to create your own path. So what I did when I when I graduated from uh, computer science, um, I decided to learn business. So my goal that was to to try to under to use technology to solve business problems. Because I know that I have this ability to understand both sides like of a project, the, the, the business side and the t technical one. So my goal was to create and to, to create that path that allowed me to, to understand both sides of technology, using technology to solve business problems. And uh, without like joining those communities, I couldn't do the, uh, make this decision uh, because all like my friends, they, they continue their studies in, a, in like they continue their studies in computer science but me i just decided to to start again from zero and start studying uh, economics and management and uh, yeah i didn't regret i didn't regret regret it because it was it was like an amazing 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 experience and combination to do and alhamdulillah i graduated uh, with a bachelor degree in economics and management and now i'm starting uh, i will be starting my master uh, master degree in uh, management and international commerce and uh, the challenging thing it was like in the last two years i was working and studying at the same time it was very challenging working a full-time job and studying a full-time like in a university it was very very challenging year and at the same time doing voluntary work with gdg and women technicians because like the the challenge when you challenge yourself you will know your ability without challenging yourself you will not know that when you put yourself in that situation you will figure out you will you will you will you will know that you can do both so I'm thinking to to write a medium article just to encourage people that thinking to combine uh, work with study, uh, the tips, the the mistakes that I made. I will share it soon. Um, uh, but honestly, it was it was very hard for me. Yeah, it's especially when uh, the exams time, it was very 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 hard. But it was a good experience because I go to work. I, I I'm working in tech. I'm seeing the side, the business, and the, the in the business, the business side of a project, and studying that at the same time. So it helps me a lot to to understand it, not just the theoric part. I'm I'm, I'm doing I'm, I'm studying and doing practice. So it's very it, it really helped me a lot, and I felt like uh, uh, it, 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 I I just added an experience like a valuable experience to my to my to my um, yeah to my experiences and to myself. Um, yeah and i would like uh, i would like to i would like to highlight uh, that project ticket center i started i started it with my friends on the on the pandemic it called ticket center to uh, to teach kids the fundamentals of uh, programming robotics design and entrepreneurship but unfortunately, uh, we stopped that project due to avail availability of the of the team. But we are very proud and impressed. Like you know, the the uh, we understand that the kids are smart, and we need to guide them. We need to invest in kids. Like if you have your brother or your sister, you need to introduce them to computer science, to programming, to design. 
because you know kids are, are our next generation and we need to invest on them i why i did i decided to highlight that project because it's it's very good it's very good one it wasn't like a project like a paid thing it was just an initiative trying to 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 build like uh, slides and try to teach them in a creative way easy way using our moroccan dialect darija and we reached out to many 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 uh, kids in morocco and also in algeria um, it was a very very good experience yeah and uh, uh, also the I'm remarkable uh, I would I would like also to talk about it uh, because I've been a facilitator facilitator for almost like two years um, I did a lot of workshop uh, for national international groups on different languages um, what I, I realized about so for people who don't know I'm remarkable workshop it's uh, it's uh, it's an initiative it's a Google initiative uh, to uh, to encourage everyone to speak openly about their achievements um, like in the workplace or any any like for people who hesitate to to, to speak about their accomplishments or to share about others what they did or they think it's just like a small accomplishment this workshop it really 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 helped uh, to uh, to 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 uh, fun to, to talk about your accomplishment. So I uh, I invite every one of you who didn't attend a remarkable workshop to to attend it. It's, it you can find it in our remarkable uh, website. Just uh, just type in remarkable on Google. You will find their website. Sign up for for a workshop. It's very it really helped. So um, what I I realized when when uh, like uh, what I realized is like even if the content is the same because for those two years we are using the same content but for different audience you know for different audience so every workshop is different i realize that every workshop is different so all people uh, need to 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 attend this it's really help you to realize why you are remarkable and you you need to speak why you need to speak openly about your achievement your accomplishment and the 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 best, the the and the what I like about I'm um, I'm remarkable. A quote that said, "It's not bragging if it's based on facts." So it's not bragging. It's it's a fact. You need to speak openly about your achievements, and even if it's a, like a small accomplishment, you need you need to to speak about it. So I did a lot of workshops uh, online, offline, and I always do. Uh, I I always co facilitate the workshop with this amazing girl Umeima um uh, yeah and uh, I, I encourage all the the unremarkable facilitators to try to uh to try to co-facilitate co a workshop with 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 other facilitators it really it really um it, it is really amazing it has like its own vibes um yeah so uh, for my experience as a woman technicals ambassador um uh, for my experience, like as a woman technicals ambassador, uh, you know, all those experiences are part of, the, of my journey as a woman technicals ambassador. And I'm very, very proud of the impact that I made and the, the persons that I helped. Because what I, re I really like and encourage me is when I got those like feedback on the end about how I helped that person, about how this workshop helped them like to, to realize something or to know to learn new things um and to start also like joining communities and trying to be active um but honestly like it's very it's very hard for me to do all those things at the same time and um, especially when i'm working in a, a full-time job and studying at the same time same time but like um as i said the impact encouraged me and every time uh everything i like about about uh, about this is to give back to the community because as i said joining gdg and women technicals or like gdg or women technicals in general uh doesn't mean that you need to be an expert in on machine learning or for example on android to join them or like to to do a workshop no it's just required that you you took the initiative you said yes i can do this i can go learn about like what's new in flutter or what's new on this thing and share it to, to the community so it's, it's it's about learning and give back to the community so everyone 
I encourage everyone to join a community in to, that that help them like develop and uh, start taking initiative because it's all about taking initiatives and uh, yeah that's it and hope this uh, may like uh, may inspire someone of you and yeah that's it thank you so much and uh, if you have any question or something i would like to Mm, yeah, and hope you like the the, the the session. If you have any question, you can drop them on comments, and they will be very happy to answer. your questions, your feedback, anything. Uh, thank you, thank you, Taha, thank you, Jamila, thank you, Ahmed, uh, for your feedback. So I uh, would like, like waiting for your questions, I would like to share with you an opportunity. It's a Google scholarship program. Uh, this, this, uh, this, uh, this scholarship is sponsored by Google. Uh, the, the, it's sponsored by Google. You can, I will, I will send you like the link of it if you want to register. Um, on Google scholarship program, you can, you can enroll like a course on project management, Data analytics, UX design, uh, technical support, uh, like it's it's fully founded by Google. If you are interested, we will drop the link on the chat and uh, sign up. Uh, it's very very interesting uh, scholarship, and it will add a lot of things to your career. So here is the link. Go to to the link and register. Choose the the the, the track or the course that you want to take, and the, the GDG or the Google uh, team will reach out to you to let you know if you got accepted. So that's it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And uh, you are all remarkable. Have a great day.